Boswellia is more commonly known as frankincense with a rich ancient history. It happens to be incredibly useful for tempering inflammation, especially with respect to arthritic pain symptoms. An extensive 2011 report concluded that frankincense may be beneficial as an anti-inflammatory agent. This was supported by a 2015 study that showed strong evidence for frankincense as an inflammation suppressor. That's not all. A systemic review analyzing 47 studies on frankincense showed that the compound was effective for treating both rheumatoid and osteoarthritis. On top of that, the research also concluded that frankincense was effective for treating other conditions such as colitis and Crohn's disease. So how does frankincense bring down inflammation? Uh, it does this through multiple different ways, one of which is controlling the inflammatory cytokine response. And a cytokine refers to a protein that is involved in active cell signaling and it can be pro or anti-inflammatory. They're secreted by the immune system to interact with other cells. Depending on the type of cytokine, you're gonna get a different response. For example, a pro-inflammatory cytokine is gonna create disease and illness in the body. And there are also anti-inflammatory cytokines which can be extremely useful for your health. One study showed that frankincense suppresses pro-inflammatory cytokine production in joint cartilage. Furthermore, frankincense also contains a compound known as acetyl-11-keto-boswellic acid. Studies show that this substance inhibits an inflammatory enzyme known as 5-lipooxygenase. On top of that, frankincense is actually well known as being useful for controlling the immune response, especially for people that suffer from rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is a, a degenerative autoimmune condition that puts the body against itself. It has your body, your immune system fighting against itself, and that's where all these um, negative symptoms come from. Frankincense actually helps with the regulation of white blood cells and it helps control that inflammation naturally. Store shelves are lined with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, like ibuprofen, Motrin, and Advil for relieving arthritis pain. As with any other synthetic medication, there are side effects. Users of such products have reported nausea, stomach cramps, diarrhea, increased perspiration and swelling, and there's also a risk of overdosing on NSAIDs and causing serious health problems. Regular use of ibuprofen has actually been linked to stomach ulcers and gastrointestinal bleeding. The likelihood of this happening depends on frequency and your sensitivity to the continued use. So if you're taking these drugs every single day to control the pain, uh, the NSAIDs could be quite disastrous, especially with stomach ulcers.